Greetings and welcome to a new show and tell for me. My name is Peter, and today we'll be having a look at um, a discontinued model from Prometheus. Um, and you may ask, why am I doing a show and tell about a discontinued model? Well, firstly, because I haven't done a, a, a show and tell about this watch. Secondly, I find it to be a, very, a really awesome watch. And thirdly, because, well, I've got one now, and uh, why not, you know, make a show and tell when I've got the watch? Um, so, yes, so this watch <clears throat> is about six years old, and it's a discontinued model from Prometheus, which is called the Prometheus Trireme. Um, we'll talk a bit about the name later. Let's have a look at the watch first, and we'll, I'll give you some stats on it. So, this is the Prometheus Trireme. Now, I've opened up the uh, the the, um, the bracelet, so we better can have a look at it. But first of all, let's have a look at this watch. Okay, the stats on this watch are: the case is three sixteen L stainless steel. The bracelet is the same. The case diameter is forty two point five millimeters. The lug width is twenty two millimeters. It has a signed screw-down crown, uh, signed with the Prometheus logo, which I can show you here. There you go, the little flame, as you've heard before. Prometheus, the god whom stole fire from the gods and gave it to us, uh, and was punished by Zeus for doing so. Um, that's why Prometheus's logo is the flame. It has a water resistance to 300 meters or 30 ATMs. Sapphire glass with anti-reflective coating on the inside, obviously. It has a sapphire unidirectional bezel with, a six, with 60 clicks. The dial is, a, is has a C3 superluminova applied to the markers. The hands are also applied with C3 superluminova, hour, minutes and seconds. The engine inside this is a Swiss-made ETA 2824-2. Um, and it comes, or it used to come, with a two-year warranty. Now, this watch was new when I got it today. <clears throat> um, but uh, but it is six years old. So uh, the guys and girls from Prometheus Watches said to me that they, I was welcome to buy it from them, but they wouldn't guarantee that it, it was a 300-meter depth rated because of the age of the watch. Uh, until you know, they said to me that that I, um, before I did any diving with it, I should change the O-rings, um, have new O-rings installed, which is a small thing. I can do it myself. Um, uh, it's 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 not a lot of uh, of, of bother at all. Um, but I, I I will get uh, my friend uh, Ian Messen to do it. He is an awesome watchmaker in Aarhus, and. Um, he has a place called Urmans Vaxter, which is difficult to say if you're not Danish. Um, I'll get him to do it, to make sure it's done well. For all of you guys who might decide to buy one of these, um, as f my understanding is that he has a couple of these left. Um, so if you, if you were to contact him, um, uh, or contact the people at Prometheus, then be aware of the fact that that because of the age of the O-rings, uh, you will have to change them before you do some diving. Um, now, this has nothing to do with the fact that the watch is not good. All O-rings get get um, get uh, you know withered and dry with age. Um, and um, and and it, I, thumbs up for uh, for for the guys at Prometheus for saying it. I mean, you know, they could just have sold me the watch. And, uh, you know, but thumbs up for them. They, they take it seriously. They take their, the brand name seriously. So, that, so they, they tell me, don't dive with it, have the O-rings changed. Then it's, 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 the watch is perfect. And that's what I'm going to do. Right. Back to the watch. How awesome is this, guys? I mean, this is, you know, this is a stunner. I love this watch. I love the look of it. It has an awesome retro look to it. It's, it's the, obviously the case. First of all, is what gives it the uh, the retro look. Um, it's 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 simply hmm, how should I say? 
I just I just enjoy the the uh, the case um, form, the sort of hexta hectagonal um, shape, facet shaped, um, and and it's and it has uh, you know it's um, wow it, it it just looks really stunning. Um, but in my opinion, one of the most stunning things about this watch is the case back. Oh. Now. Before we get there, let's talk about the name. Prometheus, as we know, the Greek god who stole fire from the gods and gave it to us. Um, but the other name, a trireme. Now, I'm, I live in Denmark, but I'm originally from Greece. And uh, back in the Roman era, just after the conquest of Greece, the Romans pretty much controlled everything. Anything that was worth controlling, well, there were Roman caligae on the ground there, which is the Roman boots. Now, the one place they didn't control was the sea. My people, the Greeks, continued to control the seas, um, not as, a, as a, a combined force, but as pirates. Because Greeks have always been really, really good boat builders, whereas the Romans were really crap at boat building. And um, so what they did was the Romans were, were, you know, really sensible people. And the Romans have always been really good at taking things from other cultures that they thought they could use. So what they did was, after they, you know, um, after they got sick and tired of being sacked by Greek pirates on much faster and much better ships, they decided to, you know, come and ask really, really nicely with a sword in the hand to the Greek boat builders, please, will you come to Rome and show us how to build awesome ships. And they did. The Greeks came to Rome, they, they, they started working with the Roman boat builders and they told, well, all, all you've ever done, alert, you know, that's crap. This is how you build boats. And they started building them. And the Romans were looking over their shoulders and said, well, we need, you know, more room for men. So they changed it a bit. And what they ended up with was a boat called a trireme. Um, uh, they also had smaller boats called biremes. Um, so these were, in essence, Roman boats built by Greeks, but modified for for the uh, for, for the um, for the Roman war machine. And they were awesome. They they really were. They were like they, some of them had had um, catapults on board. They had uh, ballistas. They had you know. Um, so so these were really awesome ships and. This has one on the back. So let's have a look. There you go. Isn't she beautiful? A Roman trireme. That's just fantastic. Now, as you probably already figured out, most of you guys, I, I love ancient history. And, um, and I... I um, I just I enjoy, I enjoy this, you know. I I I love this boat on the back. It's so beautiful. Um, so this is um, that that is actually a pretty good representation of a Roman trireme, and uh, hence the name triremes. So back to the watch. As I've said before, I like the, I really like the case back. It gives this sexy uh 60s dive uh, sort of retro feel to it um i like the um if you notice that the uh, <clears throat> the uh crown protectors here they're a bit special you don't really see i i haven't personally seen that anywhere else now don't mistake me i i, I like it but it's also rather interesting the design um yeah I love the plunger hands, or however you might pronounce them. The big red hand, I love that. Um, you know, it's. Um, uh, I've had uh, a couple of uh, other watches that use the same uh, same hands, and it always just, in my opinion, peps up the um, the, the the watch uh, when you use these hands. Um, so it has a sapphire bezel, which is you know, which is is awesome. Um, I love sapphire bezels because. Something I really, really hate is when you have a new watch, you wear it for a week, and while you're sitting on the toilet, you look at your watch lovingly and you, and you suddenly see a scratch on your bezel. And it, oh, it's horrible. Um, you know, and, 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 and these new, oh, not, this is not a new watch, but, but, but 
watches with sapphire bezels eliminate that. I mean, you really have to smack them around like an idiot to scratch or destroy one of these sapphire bezels. And um, and if if you manage to do it well, well then you've done it, and you know certainly it's not the watch's fault. Um, so it, it, and and um, yeah. So this is a um, it's it's a cool looking watch with a, a cool looking case with a cool looking name, uh, a cool looking Roman war boat on the back. Yeah, it, it doesn't get much more cool than that. It really is an awesome watch. I love it. I must say that you know this kind of um, if if I had been if I had been the decision maker at Prometheus Watches, I would have had this uh, on on a mesh from the start. I mean this this um, this case, this retro case, just screams out mesh. Put a mesh on me, shark mesh, you know, and uh, it has obviously, as you can notice, it has a sort of um, what do you call it? Oh, my English always fails me when I'm making show and tells. Uh, oh, lug width. As, uh, well, you can not width, but you can see the lug is a sort of an underneath hidden lug, and it would just look awesome with a um, with a shark mess on. Now, when I got this before I was going to make the film for you guys, I went and had a look at my other watches and, and spare parts, and to see if I should. By any chance, have a, a 22 millimeter um, shark mesh lying about I could put on. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't, so I can't show you what it looked like. But I think you could probably imagine what it would look like with a uh, with a shark mesh on. It was it's, that was definitely my plan for this watch. Um, so, um, yeah, all in all, I'm, a, I'm I'm rather in love with this watch. I'm in love with the picture on the back. Um, so I'm off to the watch guy to have him uh, change the O-rings on it, and uh, and then it's it's just tip top. Um, yeah. Now I don't know how many uh, they've got left at Prometheus Watches of these. It might just be I got the second one, the second last one. Could also be there are some more there. Um, I don't know. I was lucky. I I, I wrote to uh, to the owner. And asked him because I'd seen these on pictures, and uh, and they were also made with white face and with a different hand, different hands. But now I was in love with one I saw on the internet, which actually was precisely this one, and and for the not this one, but one like it. And for the first time, Lady Luck seemed to be smiling at me because you know I wrote to them and I said, "Do you have any of those left?" And the and he wrote back the owner and said, "Well, I I have." I have a black-faced one with a red, uh, with a red, um, with a red hand dial, and um, and I was like, "Wow, that sounds suspiciously like the one that I'm actually looking for." And it was, and so I was really lucky. So I, I don't know if they have any ones left, but if they do have them, um, some of them left, be aware that uh, that they might need to have their O-rings changed. Um, Again, this is not a bad thing, and it's not in any way a sign of bad quality. All O-rings uh, dry out, and, and this is just a fact of life. Divers like me, who, who dive a lot, know that, that O-rings and that dive equipment have to be changed. Um, so so it's, just, um, it's just a really cool thing and a sign of, of, of professionalism that the owner told me, we'll sell it to you. But you have to know that you will have to have your rings changed. And again, this is not a huge operation. It shouldn't cost a lot of money, not at all, uh, to have that done by a professional. Um, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a five, seven minute job um, to do that. And um, yeah. Anyway, you know, guys, if, if you want one of these, try out your luck and uh, you might get one. And if you can't get one and I got the last one, then ha! I'm really pleased, and um, no, I shouldn't. I shall not be um, <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Prometheus trireme. I can try. Well, you think I, I've I've taken the um, the thing apart, so it's going to be difficult for me to give you a wrist shot. But I'll I'll try and do it uh, anyway if I can hold it together like that. 
it's it's it's, it's a very handsome watch. It really is. I I, um, I look for. I haven't sized it yet. Um, one other thing, I can see even six years ago, Prometheus they they um, were fond of using screwed in um, pins, which is which is in my book awesome. I say this every time. It's because I really do mean it. These are screws. And, uh, and and so easy to size, which I'm going to do when I'm finished uh, making this chantel. Um, yeah. Anyway, as I always say, and I hope that you uh, that you will will do is if you if you're not already following me on Facebook or, or uh, in my Facebook group, Peter's Watch Chantel Group, or or um, subscribed here on on YouTube, then please do so. Of course, only if you like what I do and the way I do it. Um, and I hope to um, that you will watch my my upcoming show and tells. Um, with those words, I'd like to say thanks very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. Bye bye.